Welcome, agents, to another episode of Prime Tips. This time we're talking about rails and lanes, operations on a rail. Uh, so we're going to talk basically about what a rail is and what a lane is and how you can use them and how you can maybe defend against them. Before we get too far into it, you got to have a little bit of basic background information. Uh, most of you probably have this, but if you don't, we're dealing with links and fields and specifically fielding. And uh, whenever you're fielding, uh, you create MU points, and that MU score points uh, helps the score for your faction in the regional and global scoreboard, and it counts towards a few badges. If you want more information about that, listen to Prime Tips Episode 10, MU for you, me and you. Uh, and one of the most effective ways to make MU is an operation that creates layered fields. Basically, you start with a field, and then you create a slightly larger field over the top of that, and you get some more points, but you get the points that you had for it. If you want more information about that, listen to Prime Tips episode number nine, Making AP with Layered Fields. But now we're on to talking about rails, and what is a rail? Well, at its most basic, a rail is just a link, but it is a strategically placed link. And you hope that it is a blocker. Uh, so in most cases, that is caused, uh, used in part of an operation where you're making bigger fields. And you want to prevent players from the other faction or even players from your faction uh, throwing a link across where you plan to throw links to create fields. So it can be used as a temporary blocker. It could be taken down before the operation. It could stay there during the operation, after the operation, it can be thrown before the operation. The big thing is that it needs to be in place to do its job when you are going to throw those fields. They can actually be used as a diversion. So if you throw out a big a big rail, but it doesn't really connect or, or protect anything, it's probably going to draw the attention to the other side, and they're going to wonder what's going on. Well, you're doing something somewhere else. And if you use them in pairs, uh, you might be defining what's called a lane. So let's talk a little bit about an operation. Here's one that, that I can, uh, completed recently. I think I got about 1.2 million MU for this. This is one that you would probably want to consider using rails. Now, when you're using a rail, you need to plan out where you're going to be throwing. And you probably want to draw out your proposed lanes and your links and your fields. Um, so to give you an idea of that, let me turn off the fields here. And now we can see just the links themselves. So in this particular case, um, I need to think about where is it that I might have problems with opposing agents from the opposing faction or even agents from my side throwing something that might block these links that would create these fields. In this particular case, across the southern part, uh, this you notice there's just one link across the bottom. That was already established. I'm not really concerned with that link uh, being dropped or having problems. And on this particular one, on the western side, uh, I do go through one fairly large city, but I'm familiar with that city. Uh, I'm near that city, so... I'm not really concerned so much with blocks coming in that area, but this one on the eastern side, this that what runs basically uh, northwest to southeast, this long line is the one that I'm more concerned with because there's a lot of action that goes east and west across what would be these links or this lane. So this is where I would probably want to consider using a rail. So after I've made that evaluation, I need to think about uh, where can I throw this rail and am I going to tip off my hand if I do that? So let's look at the proposed, actually the finished one here. And you'll notice as I get in closer that you see that there's, there's a lot of links that run parallel to each other. Um, and what, what you have to be concerned with is somewhere along the line, a an opposing agent from an opposing faction or even one of your 
agents, if they were to throw a link that went, in this case, east-west across, you notice that all of these are now cross-links. They, they would all be blocked. So that one link would cause me to not be able to do this whole operation. So I want to avoid that as all, if at all possible. Um, and one of the ways I can do that is by using a rail. So if I had, if I could do any kind of rail that I wanted and not worry about it causing any, say, issues, I would probably throw a rail, you know, the whole distance of the area that I'm concerned with. And I would run it parallel to that. And the closer that I get to where my, my actual links are going to be, the better. Because the area that I leave on the inside is still available for an agent to come in and throw. In this case, get in between that rail and this outer link and throw back to the west, and they would still be able to block it. So I could throw that as a rail, but that's a really long link. And as I pull out, if you see, there's really long links. Here's one here. Uh, here's a green really long link down here. Those tend to just be real noticeable, and they if somebody's watching the map, they're probably going to say, why is that there? What purpose does it solve or, or per, serve? Uh, is that a possible operation that's going on? So part of that is timing. Uh, when you want to throw that rail, you, you don't want to throw it too early because you might uh, draw attention for a long time. But if you wait too long, you might already have blockers across that area. Uh, so it didn't do you any good. You're going to have to clear those anyway. Um, so they don't have to be one long piece either. You could overlap them or you could uh, use an existing link kind of off of that. So let's say that I didn't want to draw that much attention. So maybe I throw one for part of it here and then I'll throw another link that comes on the inside and goes up to around Moonshine, Illinois here. And then maybe I'll throw a third link that goes roughly like that, protecting the northern side. Those are probably better rails in some respect in that they don't draw as much attention, but you can still kind of see the line is there. Uh, you notice that I, I've got a little overlap of them here, so that would make it a little more difficult. I left a little gap here, so yeah, a good agent might be able to shoot that gap and still throw into this city green up here and and block it. Uh, so it, again, it just depends upon the agents that you have in the area, how closely they're watching the map, where can I really throw these from? Uh, you know, I, I'm just drawing lines on the map. There may not be a portal there that I'm able to do that. Uh, so that's a rail. Now you also hear us talk about lanes. A lane is simply from the outside link to the inside link, that entire area. So if I come down to this southeastern portal, you notice that it really kind of comes down to a point. There's real no, really no width to the lane there. But as it goes more towards the northwest, it opens up because the portals have a little bit of distance. So when I get up to the northern part of this, uh, I've probably got four or five miles between the innermost link and the outermost link. So that would be my entire lane. Um, so I would really have to watch that lane before I start the operation, make sure there's no links that go across it. Um, and it doesn't have to go all the way across it. So, you know, maybe if I have an agent that's in the big city of Trilla here and, and they throw to Janesville, uh, you know, they're blocking off some, but not all of those links. Um, so I would probably want to clear that. And again, if it's, if it's a friendly agent that did that, I would have to use a, a virus and that would probably draw a little bit of attention. So one of the things that you can do with rails is that you can define your lane. Uh, there's good and bad things about that. Uh, the good thing is it protects it well. The bad thing is it's really apparent on the map as to what you're doing. But I'll go ahead and show you one. And, and in this case, we already have a, we got a link here in this city called Stoy. So maybe we come from Stoy and we go down and we throw a link way down here towards the south. 
and then we throw another one from Stoy and we go up north and now I have a rail on the inside so when I pull out you can see that I have a well marked area like a rectangle that all of these links are gonna run in and again you gotta remember I've not thrown these I, these are proposed ones so if if I turn off all of my links you can see that it just screams hey this is an area that somebody might be throwing links in but the good thing is it keeps them from throwing across the lane um, they can't throw from the inside into it they can't throw from the outside they can't throw all the way across it so this might be something that you throw early in the operation uh, as a holder as to hold that lane open that way you could throw all of these and not have to worry about someone noticing what's going on and winging a link into your lane and screwing things up you can also use the individual links themselves as uh, rails you, know, you kind of have to be careful that you don't screw things up and mess up your op with it so let's say that on this outermost one if I threw from this northern portal down to my southeast portal I would have that line and that would protect anybody from throwing from the east back to west across it what I have to be careful with is that I don't close that field so in this case I would throw that and I would have the, the southern one I just want to make sure that I don't throw this western side and close that field because then I would cover up all the interior layers and I'd be screwed if you really want to get fancy you might throw the inside one as well just as long again you don't shut the other side or you could throw the other side again just as long as you don't close in this case the eastern side so you could use those outer outer uh, links or the second outer links as rails to hold things open as you throw uh, typically you want to do that close to the operation because if you do it you know hours or maybe a day before it's going to scream hey they're going to come back and finish this as a layered field and it's going to draw attention so that's one of the things you can do uh, you can defend against these in a number of ways uh, one of them is just watching the map again if you see that long link look at that long link and say okay is there another two sides to this that they might be planning a big field you know is there some clearing that they're going to do you know if that's the case maybe I want to interrupt that maybe I want to take that rail down um, you can look and take a guess at where that rail might be protecting and then come in and do your best to mess it up so let's say I've got this interior rail here let me get rid of these guys and I've noticed that that rail is there and it's a long line and I'm looking at things around it it could be something that they're throwing I'm gonna guess that they're going to be throwing perpendicular or parallel excuse me parallel to this line so what I will want to do is throw as close to perpendicular to that line as I can and as close to the line and as far away as possible to possibly block so looking at this one I would say well okay I'm gonna go into this little town here called green up and I'm gonna throw from there uh, we'll throw up here to a place called Terre Haute and since I have cross links on you can see that I would block the whole thing but I wouldn't know that and then maybe I would throw from this small city here back to another city so it actually in that case I actually got the ones on the other side so if you throw your links at a 90 degree angle from or close or you know roughly from that suspected rail uh, you could block it so you don't have to actually be able to take down that really long link you just have to get in as close as possible so you want to get as close as possible to that rail and then throw in the direction it goes away from it so you could then watch what goes on 
And if you notice that um, you know agents from the other side have come in and, and they've cleared your particular uh, blocking um, and they left the rail, that's a good good indication that it could be a rail and it's it's setting up protection for a field a lot of fields so that's rails and lanes and i hope that i see you in the field sometime soon agents